We have a Godwin Fifth Avenue guitar made in Quebec, Canada. A place I know very well because that's where I was raised in Montreal, Canada, Quebec. And uh, it was also the place we got burnt out of. <laughs> but I have very fond memories of Quebec. It's cherry wood, all made of cherry wood and very expensive uh, arch top guitar anything between 800 and 1800 pounds this one i think is in around the 1400 pound range now there's very little i have to do to it just to give it a good setup and get the bridge set in one place so it doesn't move about the the owner suggested i pin it but i don't want to drill any holes in this so i'm going to use a double-sided sellotape and get it in the right place first then use a big Stanley knife and just score it down the side and stick it on. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, do I have to say that? There's a thing down here which I don't think I can capture on camera. There's a, you might just see it about there. There's a tiny, tiny buffing scratch. And it's... Ah, there you go. You can see it there. That is going to be very very hard to clear because this is a satin finish and satin finishes or, or cherry finishes guitar are extremely hard to match so on a glass a gloss guitar i can buff that out easily but on this i can't buff it out i'm going to do a little test on the back of this guitar do you want to see the back of the guitar it's called a fifth avenue cherry a fifth avenue godwin guitar and it's got Godwin pickups. It's just getting a basic setup, but I thought you might be interested in seeing it. I, I call it Godwin, it's Godin. Godin guitar. And there you are. Right, I'll put the other camera on. We'll just go through the quick setup on it and get, the, get it intonated and get it marked. Um, some of you may be surprised to find out that I'm going to do the last thing I usually do first. I'm going to change these strings. Right, I have a non-slip mat, that's better. The first thing I'm going to do is tune it, even with the old strings. And I'm going to intonate it. Then I'm going to mark the bridge where I want it to stay. Then I'm going to strip it. The neck needs to be changed slightly. It needs to be a slight less of an underbow on it. I've measured that already. You're never going to get perfect intonation on that kind of bridge. Well, you're never going to get perfect intonation on any guitar unless you buy one that's particularly designed for intonation. And you can buy them out there at three grand. And the fretboard is completely different from a normal fretboard. So let's just put this along there. It's quite an angle. And you know why I'm doing that, don't you? Because I'm going to have double-sided sellotape on the back of that. Two little tiny squares. It's not going to be the perfect way to uh, keep it in that position. But it's better than drilling a hole and pinning it. Let me just check that tape's right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right. It's a very unusual angle. I'll go through it again just because it's such an unusual angle.
Yeah. Lovely sounding guitar. Okay, now take these strings off, replace them. this neck up. Yeah, let's just, well not straighten it, let's just, it needs cleaned. Yeah, actually now that I look at it without the strings on, which I should have done, it's actually right, it's got to just the right amount of underbow. So, that's the end of that, but I don't have to do that. But that does need to be cleaned up, that fretboard. And I'll, Georgie girl, could you move? You're, you're in my way. I'm sorry. Let me just clean up the fretboard. Not going to be any sanding or anything like that there. This is just cleaning. Because it doesn't need anything. It's a fairly newish guitar. It doesn't need to be. Don't need to go crazy. The uh, thing about doing something permanent to pin a neck, my Gretsch has got a permanently pinned neck. But it's got all sorts of, uh, of adjustments. But an older wooden guitar moves about, well, this is brand new, but in 20 years, the whole bending and shaping of this guitar will be different. And if you're really fussy about intonation, no, well, I suppose that's why you get a decent guitar like this because you're fussy on the sound quality. But an older guitar can shift and change and move about, so pinning it may not be the best idea, like a permanent pinning position. I'm not even a great fan of making, to a guitar of this quality, I'm not a great fan of making any permanent changes to it. Filling a hole is a permanent change. Yes, you can fill it, you can bluff it, you can do it, it's still a change. Right, okay, that's it, clean, and my spittle moved off it. Uh, do I want to? Because the neck... No, I'm not going to touch that neck. The strings must put a pressure onto it. If I, when I put the new strings on, if I, when I do it, I might consider loosening the gain and doing it. Just clean the head now. Uh, just needs a cleaning. Doesn't need anything exciting. I think here when I was talking about the scratches, there are, in, if you look very carefully, you can see three tiny dots. Somebody must have spilt something on it. Maybe like white spirit or something like that. And they tried to clean it off. But they realized what they were doing and they caused scratches. And so that's probably why it was caught. I'm going to tighten the uh, tuners now. Yeah, they're fine, but I like them a little bit tighter. So with that satin finish, there's, there's people on the internet have all sorts of solutions to a scratch on satin finish but every one of them says do it at your peril because even with the solution they have suggested they say it didn't work very well for me but it worked a bit so that's better they're a little bit loose they were Tempted. I'm not going to change the truss rod. What I'm going to do now is test the electrics of it. Yeah, just test it to make sure the electrics are okay. Where is it? 
There you go. It's tight enough. Nothing. No, it's fine. Yeah, everything working fine, tones and knobs. I knew I didn't need to touch it, but you don't want to hand the guitar back to somebody and they say, Oh, did you not notice? Well, I didn't check it. Well, you should have checked it. No, they wouldn't say that, but they'd say, What kind of guy is he if he didn't check the electrics? Lovely guitar. All right, let's get the strings and get the strings on it. Do I want to look at that scratch? Do you know what I'm? I'm going to do a little test on the back. I did say to the gentleman I would do a test on the back. I, I don't think you're going to see anything, but I'll do a little test in the back. And what I'm going to use is just a touch of white spirit, just about there. my finger. Just to see if even white spirit on its own makes any difference to the thing. No, it doesn't damage it. So let's go around here. So I'm just going to use a tiny touch of white spirits on it just to see if Maybe of miracles upon miracles, it's not quite a scratch. Maybe it's more of a... You're afraid to polish too much because you've seen these guitars when people are strumming it, these could go shiny. No, that white spirit did nothing. Let me just use it with a bit of cloth. I don't expect the white spirit to do an awful lot, but I don't want it to do any damage. This could be polished wood rather than a set and finish spray. helping a little bit. I don't want to go crazy on it, but it's helping a little bit. So I'll just give it a little bit rougher push. What I think has happened, you know the original three dots that were on it that I told you about, I think they've vanished. Yeah, the, the three dots have vanished, but that scratch is still there. But the surrounding the scratch is not so noticeable now because the other surrounding scratches have may have been dirt and stuff like that there but there still is that scratch there and unfortunately I haven't made it any worse but I don't want to I don't want to over polish it because then I don't want a shiny finish but that looks <laughs> you have to take my word for it, it looks a little bit better it looks about 17% better <laughs> and I defy you to challenge me on that right off this goes camera angle changes and strings get put on okay new strings are on and I'm just about to try to improve sorry I'm just about to improve the 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 action it just needs brought down a little bit it's not an awful lot and I need my proper glasses let me just see the right tool Just 
touch more. Quite a lot of turns on these uh, to get them tightened. Low gearing ratio. I think that helps them stay in tune. Let me just make sure what I'm telling you. Tusk TUSQ XL. Whoa. XL, eh? Don't know what an XL means in a Tusk nut, but there you go. Hello, Georgia. I know what's going to happen. It's a very hot day today, people, and the fans are all on, and Georgia girl's a little bit lost, aren't you? Aren't you You're just a little bit lost, Daddy's girl? Because she, oh no, she doesn't want to be stroked, but she doesn't want to be not stroked. Right, can you just excuse me? I'm going to, no, I have to put you down because you're getting cheeky now. There you go. She doesn't want me working whenever it's hot. She's restless. I know, the string is being cut. Daddy's girl. Okay, let's leave it like that while we get it tuned. Oh, I, I'm going to pause because that tuner is driving me nuts. Right, that is it double sided. Sorry, that is it tuned and intonated. Uh, I didn't torture you through that. Now I'm going to take the strings or reduce, take the strings off and put double sided tele, tele tape, tele, tele tape, tele tape, double sided tape on the bottom of that. And I'll come back to you whenever people are stopped talking to me. All right. Right, back again. I well, I don't know where I left off. I'm loosening the strings, taking that bridge off, putting double sided tape on. I'm going to use special tape that I bought. It's actually a double sided tape for carpeting. And it's probably one of the best because it doesn't slip as much. But I don't want it to be seen. So it's going to be hidden in there. So I'm going to take these off, come back to you whenever I've, I'm ready to put the double sided tape down. Now this is the challenge, putting this with double sided tape on the bridge in exactly the right position so you don't have to move it. And I should have taken the strings off but I'm too bloody lazy. So place I can't see with my hand. Alright, okay. Alright, beautiful. Beautiful. Now, will that do the job? Maybe, depending on how hard the man thumps it with his fist all the time. And if it doesn't do the job, we'll bring it back and then we will do a, a physical uh, pinning to the bridge but try to avoid that okay I'll bring this up to tune again and then I hopefully hopefully actually I think that needs another little groove in it to keep the string in place but uh, will I do that now yes I'll do that now I'll just use a fret file a fret file where's my thinnest fret file don't like it. oh there it is there right okay <laughs> That's a bit better. Are you? Yeah, you're okay, and you're okay. It was just the E string that was causing the problems. Now let's just look at the height. I tell you what, let's get the thing in tune. Come back to you when it's in tune. Ow. Okay, I found this one on the App Store. Pro Guitar Tuner. And it's free if you allow the apps. 
and it's got everything. It's got a, a, a guide down here and it's got a, a sliding bar here which lets you see how close you are to where you're tuning and you've got a nice fine adjustment up there and everything's lovely in tune. Lovely sounding guitar still, even with the double sided tape. to get myself an arch top. I think I like these things. The action's a good bit better. Uh, could I bring it down more? Let me just try bringing it down a touch more. Let's just test our guiles here. I know it'll affect the tuning that I spent so much time on. Do I want to do it in the A string? Yes, I do. Let's just see how far it'll cool down for me without buzzing. And then I'll retune it all. That well, sounds very good. I'm going to push my luck, take it down a bit more. That's nice action now. Actually, very good action down there. Okay, I'm going to tune it and then come back. Ow. Okay, there you are. I think just give it a clean now and I can go back to study. to go home to daddy. Say goodbye. I'm going to give you a little clean up before you go. You can go back to your daddy.